Now, local sports from KTBO. Good evening, everyone. The Atelma girls tennis team look for win number one of the season against Des Moines Hoover. A matchup of number ones, Hoover serving after a volley. Atelma's Carolyn Carlson is able to put the ball in the right spot and wins the point. She took the match in two sets, 6-0, 6-0. The Bulldogs number two is now Roxana Zeladon serving Deuce. A nice power shot gives her the point. She would win 6-2 and 6-1. Otomo wins all of its singles in two sets and swept doubles as well to win 11-0 over Hoover. The EBF Rockets girls hosted its Rocket Relays. Eight schools participated in the meet. The Rockets finished fourth behind Fairfield with a 71-point team score. Next week is, Drake, is the Drake Relays, and the Rockets hurdler Carly Taylor has a good shot of qualifying in the prestigious meet. Oh, I think it'd be fun. I don't know, a little nerve-wracking. I've never been up there. Well, I was up there last year, but he's in a 4 by one not in an individual, so I don't know, I'm nervous. Taylor finished first in the 100-meter hurdles, as well as was the anchor on first-place finishing sprint medley and shuttle hurdle relay teams. After beating Iowa Western last night, Indian Hills softball has clinched its Region 11 title. The team now prepares for sophomore day against Muscatine for its regular season finale. Nine Warriors will be recognized during the doubleheader at Hellier Field. Ending their home careers with a win will be the proper send-off. They're kind of the backbone to the culture that we've tried to um, establish this year and their leadership has been unbelievable and they have um, opened up to anything that we've asked them to do and um, they're a very special group. First pitch is scheduled for 2 p.m. 